Are you a beginner Call of the Wild player struggling to find cash and XP? Well, this is the video for you because today we're going to be explaining just how to do that specifically for you beginners. So guys, before we do hop in today, I do want to ask of you one thing. If you please can go down there, smash that like button and subscribe. That would be much appreciated as it is the number one thing that can help out with the channel. And as always, the Discord server link is down in the description if you guys do want to join up there. It's a great source for asking questions, you can share your trophies, promote your YouTube channel or socials, whatever you guys choose to do, the Discord server is available and it is 100% free to join. And without further ado, my friends, let's dive... So for today's video guys, you guys are going to need some DLC. As you guys can see, I am out here in Emerald Coast, Australia. This map is 100% essential for the video. Well, I didn't want to shoot any of these females, but I guess I have to. And you guys are going to need some type of weapon that covers class 9, like the 300 here. You can also use the 338, you can use the 7mm. And I would highly recommend that you guys do get the new scope DLC because it is amazing. The scopes and crosshairs pack, it just came out here a few days ago with the newest update, and in my opinion, is the new best scope in the game. You don't only get the Odin, which zooms three times further than the Hyperion, you also get a new shotgun and handgun scope, along with a night vision scope that actually doesn't strain your eyes to the point where they're Okay, so the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is set the time to 8 or 8.30 and come down here to the coast here on Emerald Coast, Australia. Now for those of you that don't know, saltwater crocodiles are the number one best way to stack cash and XP in game as of right now. They pay amazing and they don't move fast at all. And there's an absolute ton of them. Just in this last clip that I've recorded, I've already grinded $3,000. That fast, yes, right before your eyes, $3,000. Well, two as of right now, but once that third one pops up, hopefully, it'll be $3,000. <laughs> All right, here's the first one that we absolutely dropped in his tracks. Perfect neck shot. When you guys are shooting for these, you guys are going to want to go for neck shots because neck shots are really the easiest place to hit a crocodile. They don't always give you the best broadside shot, so if you really need to, try to get into those lungs there. I'd aim right behind that front leg. Don't aim for the head. I do it all the time in live streams, and it just decreases the amount of money that you guys get. But as you guys can see... $1,300 from a typical level 6 crocodile. Insane. That will definitely add up over time. Now guys, make sure you do stay to the end of the video today, guys, because I do have a lot more information to share with you guys. It's a lot more complicated than just coming down here and shooting crocodiles. As you can see, $1,200 for a level 7 gold right there. 808.21. I would consider that a trophy in my opinion. Alright guys, so for those of you that want to do trophy hunting, specifically saltwater crocodile trophy hunting, I would only shoot the level 5s and above, obviously leave all the females, because when you shoot females, they will respawn as females, and they literally serve no purpose. Besides populating the map with females for realism, but we're about 220 meters away from this crocodile, it looks like he is giving us the perfect opportunity for a neck shot, so let's 0 to 300, get that dot right behind his head there, and kaboom! There we go. I win hunting crocodiles, guys. I always bring with me the Apex V binoculars, the 308, the 300, and the 22250, just because of the fact that that's my main loadout. And when you come down here to start grinding cash, you guys are going to want to make sure that you have more than just the 300 on you, or more than just a weapon that covers class 7 to 9. You guys are going to want to have a 4 to 8 rifle on you as well, something like the 308 here, just in case something walks up. You really never know what can walk up in front of you. There could be Bantang, there could be Red Fox, which she would use the 22-250 on. Now this female's aggressive, so it looks like we're gonna have to kill her. Hello. <laughs> Alright, we got her. But yeah, there can literally be anything, and that's just more cash to be stacked. <laughs> 1300 more dollars right there from a perfect neck shot. And, uh, multiple different vital organ hits. <laughs> wow, that is, a. Uh, uh, that's a lot of shots. But as you guys can see, still $900 from a female. Efficiently run the coast up and down for a solid two to four hours, you guys can probably make a good 100000 an hour. You could probably make even more than that if you set up with tents and tripods, which I have done that before and it does make it a lot easier to get to your zones, which you shouldn't be tenting every zone, you should be tenting in between zones so you guys can efficiently look at every one of your zones. Now considering the fact that when zones blow out from hunting pressure, they are just going to respawn somewhere on the coast, you don't really need to worry about hunting pressure. Oh great, here we go again. Here we go again. 0 to 75 meters. Gotta kill more females, unfortunately. Wow. 
Well, I'm not too sure if we're gonna get that other one, but definitely this one here. We got a double long honor. $1,100 for one female? Judas Priest, that is insane. I did not even know that you could make that much off of one female. I guess it's considering the fact that I got a double lung, but as I was just saying, if you guys really don't care about hunting pressure, you can come through and absolutely wipe out every single one you see. I just recommend bringing a few hundred, 300 bullets because you can run out really quick. And 20 meters later, we have more crocodiles. <laughs> Is zero up to 150 here? Get zeroed. Probably, I don't want to do a brain shot on video, but <laughs> might have to. Wish you could shoot him through the water. Yes, stay there, stay there, stay there. Perfect, got him, I think. We definitely hit him. And lung shot on him, maybe? Another shot? Yep, we got him. Didn't usually shoot a level three, but since I'm not really efficiently grinding them, I'm just gonna zero to 300, aim slightly high, try to get in into his lung there. Maybe we got into vitals? Not entirely sure. His health is not dropping, so we probably didn't hit him very well. Oh, we did get that other female. It just took her a minute to die. So guys, you can really find crocodiles down here on the coast really any time of day, but the best time, prime time, would definitely be 8 or 8.30 until 12 or 12.30. I always set my time to 9.30, and there's an absolute pile of them, as you guys can see. So you guys are going to want to be looking for 9 legendaries. Definitely be spotting absolutely everywhere. I highly recommend having the Apex View binoculars here as they do have a rangefinder and ooh another gold nice they zoom extensively farther than the original binoculars that they start you with which are absolute trash wow that is uh very far out there that must be that level three we shot at here a minute ago i do just want to interrupt today's video to let you guys know if you are enjoying today's video to make sure you guys do go down there and smash that like button and comment down below that squid is the goat for a chance to win a one month membership to the channel if you're interested in purchasing a one month membership to the channel, the cheapest membership is $4.99 a month and the most expensive is $99.99 a month. You guys can find the catalog by clicking the join button down there by the subscribe button. Click subscribe if you haven't already. All right, well, we were perfectly broadside until he decided to put his tail right in my line of sight. Looks like we're gonna have to aim slightly high here. In zero to 150. Oh, that looked like it smacked him pretty hard. Okay, that one definitely finished him off. <laughs> Yeah, this crocodile is not going anywhere, my friends. This is going to be an easy $1,500. Yep, just as I suspected, $1,439. When you get a perfect shot on a male at least level 5 and above, you can definitely easily get $1,500 out of them, or somewhere is around $1,500 usually. I've seen them get into the 23, 2500 ranges, especially when you get into like the 8 mythicals. Oh no, we're getting attacked again. Looks like I'm going to have to spook these uh, crocs that are in front of me right now. Unless I shoot her with a 250. Which isn't the nicest thing to do, but it's probably the uh, safest, because it ain't going to kill her. Fleeing, perfect. We did hit her. <laughs> probably should have just fired it. Let's go ahead and slap the Odin back on 300 here, and see what we have out here. I believe I've seen a level 7. Yes, right there, there's two of them. Awesome. Let's try to get up higher and get a neck shot, maybe? If you guys are in here in late afternoon or even evening, you guys are going to want to be watching the edge of the woods here because that's where all the Bantang are going to congregate, and there's usually an absolute pile of them all the way down the coast. So if you guys really want to stack some cash fast, set it to the late afternoon and come out here and hunt crocs and Bantang at the same time. There just won't be as much crocs. Alright guys, this looks like about the best position we can get on him, so we're going to try as hard as we can to get a neck shot. If not... Oh, we got it. Awesome. I was going to say, if not, we can go for the long shot, too, but looks like we're going to have to maybe even get a neck shot on the 7. I'm going to say go for a long shot on the 7, but for the other 7. Oh, we got the neck shot on him, too, I think. Yes, we did. Awesome. Double neck shot. This poor female here is just utterly confused. <laughs> and once two more come into render, it just keeps going, guys. We've only made it to halfway up the coast, and it just keeps going. There are hundreds of them, and if you do make it to the end, reset the time and come back down here, and there's going to be hundreds more. <laughs> really, the only thing different is your zones could be moved around, depending on how much hunting pressure is on them. And quite honestly, there's actually a better chance to find diamonds and rares if you didn't see any on your way up. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. That's the first time I've ever got a long heart shot on a, on a croc. $1,500 squared for a level 7. So it turns out we didn't get the next shot, we just absolutely stopped his heart. <laughs> I know for sure this one we got the next shot though, so let's have a look at that shot here and see how much that pays us. $1,546, I think that's the exact same amount as the last one. And we actually got into the skull there, just slightly, barely clipped it, but we did get a neck shot still, upper neck. And like I said, once you get the hang of really killing them over and over and over again, 
it really just keeps going. All you gotta do is keep shooting. <laughs> next shot after next shot after next shot. But anyways, my friends, I think that is gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much if you did make it to this point in the video. Another perfect next shot there for $1,400. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you later. Peace!